What's up guys, it's Sean and today we are at Eco Grandio because my friends at Eco World are going to show me something very interesting. They know I like properties and I like new stuff. So they have a new product called Co Homes. But before that, uh, check out the view. So, this is the Co Home Experience Center. As we mentioned, what is Co Home, right? It's kind of like a townhouse, but like an evolved format of townhouse. You somewhat imagine a terrace house, you split into two. Ground floor belongs to one owner and the upper floor belongs to another. So this is somewhat similar, but on a usual townhouse, you have 18 feet, right? This one is 35 feet wide. A bit blur, right? Let me show you. What we're gonna check today is type A1, the ground floor show unit. What you can immediately see the difference is the huge frontage of four car parks. So there will be a staircase on the center of these two units and this will be the access upwards. And what's interesting is this. There will be a utility room next to the staircase where it's supposed to be the storage area for the upper floor. Then the two car parks that is closer to the staircase belongs to the upper floor and the two car parks further away from the staircase then belongs to the bottom floor ones. When you enter, you have a very amazing space consisting the living, dining, and the kitchen. It has three bedrooms. On the left bedroom, one here, bedroom two, the shared bathroom, and you have your principal bedroom on this side. So there's a three bedroom around 1,000 square feet. It's gonna be like an apartment because it's one floor, one story. And this kind of typology is very friendly, especially for elderly people because the steps are very minimal. So let's go check it out. So it's almost like 25 feet and this feels like an apartment but it's like those luxurious type because for a layout there's three of columns and structural beams this looks very clean and very nice Hey, so the selling price for this is around 375 380,000 so for that kind of budget most likely like for younger people like us la. <laughs> so before we proceed just imagine this line to be all walls Okay. But that does not take away the <laughs> width, the crazy width that this unit has. Lah, okay. So next to your living, you have your dining space adjacent to your kitchen. There's a dedicated space for your fridge. Then this will be the place you cook and it's crazy big. Lah, okay. Next to the kitchen will be the yard. What I really enjoy right now is that sheer amount of space. It's really like a terrace house kind of living experience. Next to your kitchen will be one bedroom and every bedroom in this unit can accommodate a queen size bed. You still have space for the bedside table, ceiling height 3 meters. Flooring is going to be exactly the same. You're going to be tiles and next to that we will have your wardrobe space. This is the boundary line. It means there's going to be a wall here. Now the only uncertainty is how's the window profile going to be like? La? Coming out from the bedroom, there's going to be two bedrooms tucked on this side and this will be the common shared bathroom. Full height wall tiles, shower, no shower screen and there will be a drop on this side. Then next to the bathroom will be this bedroom and I like the height of the switches. This is the principal bedroom. So the width of the bedroom is 3 meters wide. After you put your queen size bed, right, you have another like 3 feet for you to still have that circulation space. So it's again that 3 meters ceiling height. Imagine there's going to be a window here. The height will allow more daylight in to the space. And next to this will be your principal bathroom. I think it's the same. And there will be a window here. So this is going to be uh, the general ventilated. And last of all, right opposite will be this smaller bedroom. It's either you want to convert it into a bed or you want to make it into your passion room. It's very, very nice. So one of the things to point out, right, whatever openings that this house has, it's somewhat like a single story terrace house where you have openings on each facade. The only difference is either facing the front or facing the back. So the back now is going to be a linear garden. I think I like it. Let's go upstairs. to be the car parks right and if I'm the owner upstairs I can actually go up via a staircase like this this is the actual staircase width and as we mentioned just now 
this is going to be a wall and this is my storeroom so I can put my golf clubs uh, I can put my water jet spray to wash my car here uh. so I don't need to actually move upstairs and we are now in type D it's a 1000 square feet unit and this is the staircase that we mentioned and once I go in there will be a foyer on this side this is going to be insanely nice so the amount of daylight is going to be superb lah. and there will be your living, dining and kitchen again wow <laughs> check out the scale of the kitchen anyway there will be three bedrooms on this side bedroom one two sharing this common bathroom and there will be the principal bedroom and their principal bathroom Coming from the staircase, there's going to be a foyer. Again, this is show unit, man. So imagine all these, right? Uh, walls. Okay. And let's go in through the main door. And there will be a stretch of windows on this side. And this is your living room to your TV already. This is crazy. Six meters wide to be exact from this wall to that wall. From the living, this is going to be your dining. And here is one of the hero space and why a lot of people buy, man. You can comfortably put a lot and I'm thinking right I can even put in the island and the mother and kids can actually just have fun here and from the COVID experience we realize that all these kind of spaces becomes very very important The only setback for the upper floor now there's no yard space hence the washing machine is going to be there So from the kitchen there will be three bedrooms on this side one two three sharing this common bathroom it's going to be pretty similar full height wall tile shower no shower screen so this is the first bedroom and again it's pretty similar every bedroom can accommodate a queen size bed very comfortably and you can actually put your wardrobe next to it i guess this is going to be the window treatments for all the walls especially for the downstairs as well. Uh. Next to this, there will be two bedrooms again. As a property enthusiast, right, I'm feeling very excited right now for two reasons. Uh. Number one, this developer has again and again shown a lot of design effort in regardless of the product types. Sometimes you can see their uh, social housing. It's supposed to be a compliance thing where I just provide to the government and that's it. I continue selling my stuff. Some players just disregard and do not label that development as part of theirs. But this developer do it with pride. This is another one of those great demonstrations where if you think about it, 400,000, you get to have a 1,000 square feet, three bedroom that is somewhat like a landed. Going opposite will be the principal bedroom. Queen size bed, bedside tables, three meter ceiling height, your wardrobe here. And then that will be the facade wall already. You can see the dotted lines there. And this will be the principal bathroom. Similar treatment and I like it's functional, practical, direct, nice. Okay, so I think that's all for the visit. It's now time for Sean Dake 3 on 3. The three things I like, number one, is definitely the innovative part of this team. They have been pushing Landed Strata, which is still considered new to a lot of people, where they introduce a place-making concept. So every address of their product comes with that welcome statement, that amazing parks, the roundabout treatments, those places where you just really want to take out your phone and take pictures, right? Then they even push further with their lab series when they introduce commercial components into the township itself. So convenience is also taken care of, not only beautiful, aesthetically pleasing houses. And in this co-home, I think because of the gap in the market as well as the affordability part, the only way is to only shrink the layout of the property but they don't shrink it in a way where on a usual townhouse you will see that 16 by 60 feet and then all the car park is going to be in tandem instead what they did is they split the building into two where one owner is on the bottom one owner is on the top a spirit of innovation right i really really enjoy number two this product is kind of enjoying the best of both worlds. A single story platform is always very favorable among elderly because there's very minimal steps to begin with. So it's safer, it's very easy to just walk around the space. And you check out the scale of each particular space, right? It's very, very spacious. But it wouldn't be fair to only look at the product in isolation. When this developer introduced this product, it comes with the community living as well. So you are more encouraged to go outside, to go outdoors and enjoy the areas. And in Eco Worlds project, that somewhat is 
covered. Uh. Last of all, I think they have a very specific target audience to begin with for this product. If you're a young couple thinking about building your family in a landed setting but your budget is somewhat restricted, this is one of it. But I actually see beyond that. It also caters for those who want to live close to your family. If I were to buy, I will buy two blocks. My parents in the future can actually live downstairs, then I can have my own privacy of my family living upstairs. So we can only come and meet once a day for dinner and something like that. What I'm trying to say is this product came from a point that they want to address in the market. Three things I don't like or uncertain of. La. Number one is the staircase issue. So the staircase is a common area. It means, right, the entire taman, the maintenance fees include the cleanliness and the maintenance of the staircase. If the staircase tiles pacha it's going to be the responsibility of the JMB. So indirectly, the owner of the upper floors, right, do not own the space of the staircase. Hence, what happens if people just loiter around, which I doubt lah, because here got a lot of security guard, but what if people just loiter around? It's everybody's problem is, there's no ownership to that staircase lah. Number two will be the ground floor windows issue, because I think that there's no elevation drawings right now, so I don't know what are the heights and the measurements of the windows. And because it's 35 feet open for four car parks, right, every time a person comes back home, you have that landed experience like you know your dad is back, or you know your wife is back. So now your neighbor back, you also know lah. <laughs> then the last would be from a street point of view, when I'm driving home, on two stretch, there will all be cars vertically parked next to each other. So on a normal setting of landed, right, most likely my neighbours are going to just park horizontally. But in this one, it's going to squeeze in 35 feet, four cars each. So the whole row it's gonna be cars, cars, cars. I can only imagine, right, in the future when it's fully 100% occupied, the ground floor is gonna feel like a garage. So I think that's all for this episode. Which one would I buy? Ground floor, upper floor? What is your preference? Because I would totally buy upper floor. Like, although moving stuff is gonna be a pain, but I kinda of like the privacy because every time people come home, I don't need to know. <laughs> but on a serious note, right, I think this product can only be pulled off by this particular developer because of the treatments to the common areas. It's very team, it's very enjoyable, and they do not take any products for granted. So whether is it affordable social housing, or is it terrace houses, is it luxurious bungalow and etc. all have the same emphasis on design. So you can see, a lot of people are coming on a weekday morning. Like It's like 11 right now, and it's pretty insane. At an affordable price like this, it's gonna be introduced in Johor, Eco Grandio, as well as the northern part, Eco Horizon, I think. So do check out if you're in those regions. If you really like this episode, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more information like this. Shout out to the team for introducing me in these kind of new products. See you on the next one. Ciao.